All right. Aye. Say, Janice in. She's at the health club. I brought this back, you know. She she lent it to me for the book group. What are you doing, Janice's book group? Pinch you back. I know. Is B Jack here? Nah, he's at training. Well, what position is he playing now? Centre forward. Scored eight goals already this season. Good. That's that's very good. An hour, eh? Great game the other day. It was shite. No, it was all right. Janice says you like your new manager. You talked to Janice about me? Aye. What did you tell Janice? I didn't tell her anything. I asked about you. She knows I like the football. Aye. Ram. All right, Janice. Uh, just bring your book back there. Uh. Didn't have to do that, Rab. I'm seeing you tonight anyway. Uh huh. I thought you might want to do some revision. All right, son. Fine. How was training? It was all right. All right, darling. I'll be off then. Claire. You want some? Thanks, Fist. Did you get anywhere with the therapy? Well, Barney says it's a waste of time. What? What? What did I say? Nothing. Did you meet this dip, Fist? Yeah. That's fantastic. There's a smoked fish in it. Yeah. It's very simple. You take some yogurt. Maybe we should talk about the book. Aye. Aye. You start, Claire. Oh, um, okay. Well, first impressions. I guess I, I was disappointed, because I'm such a big fan of 100 Years of Solitude. Oh, please. I'm sure I haven't finished. I'm not going to listen to you talk rubbish in my housewoman. It's an apartment. It's a lovely wee flat, Barney. Do you get enough room for yourself here? What are you saying, I Janice? thought there were some interesting things going on in the store. She wants to know if you are sleeping together. Who's sleeping together? Barney and Feast. Actually, I really hated the book. You didn't understand it. I think Marquez is really overrated. What? Well... Are you sleeping together? Rab, I think we should have read some Isabel Allende. Ah, typical! Mind your own business there. She well. said it. I cannot bear Allende. Everyone knows she's a better writer, and everyone knows the only decent book Marquez wrote was 100 Years of Shut Solid. up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Barney, I think you're interfering with my freedom of speech. Carrie is talking, Barney. Right, right. So would you mind not talking such utter shite? You little cunt. Oh. Hang on, am I the cunt? I think I am the cunt. Oh, we're all cunts. Speak for yourself. Language, please, could we all get out of the gutter? He's all right. Time of the month. Kenny, why don't you tell us about the book you're writing? You're writing a book? Aye. Good on you, big man. I've always wanted to meet a real writer. I'm trying to write a novel, too. Barney says everyone's trying to write a novel. Barney's a cunt. Could everyone please watch their language? I don't appreciate it. Sorry, Janice. Lovely, who's? It's very nice, isn't it? But we for two, though. No, I meant yours. Oh, thank you. Did Jackie show you round? Aye. He did a bit. Yeah, I'm a writer. Like a writer in your spare time, you mean? No, like a, like a full-time, that's what I do for a living, kind of writer. Claire! How did you know, see? I thought it would be kind of weird. Maybe we can read one for book group. Are you on medication? No. Barney has diabetes. Hello. I did not have diabetes. Oh. I thought... You make enough money to live on your books, Claire. Yeah, I guess. Uh, the, the advance from the last one was what brought me over here. That is magic. I'm really impressed. A real writer. Who's this? You'll, you'll love this. Oh, oh, it's a special dash deep from Holland with yogurt and... Would you shut up, crushed Barney? Log. Could we all just mind our own fucking... Books? I have something to say about the book. Well, I read the whole book straight away. 
You can ask Rab because I lent him my copy because I read it so quickly. That's right, you did. Go on, Janice, tell us. I liked it. I thought it was a good story. Aye. And the man and the woman were really in love. It was really romantic, wasn't it? And I liked the way things could happen that wouldn't really happen. Magical, Magical realism. realism. <laughs> I was really glad when they got together in the end. Oh, God. <laughs> That's all I wanted to see. Ray. Hi, Rab. It's Claire from Book Root. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I'm fine. Listen, the thing is, Rab, we never decided what book we're going to read for the next session and where it should be, and so I was thinking, like, maybe it's your turn and you get to choose the book and all. Oh. Do you think that's a book there's actually any point in all of us reading? So, do you write? Not really, no. Don't tell me. You're a critic. <laughs> no? Are you sure? I mean, you're a natural. Do you think so? Yeah, yeah, you've got this ability to see the bigger picture. Yes, well, at the moment I'm a homemaker. You're married? Oh, yes. How, uh... How married are you, Janet? Steady. Tiger. <laughs> So I've went past Marlene as if he doesn't exist. Cut inside, who'd I see coming towards me? Big man Dusburg. I drop the shoulder to the right, go left, he's gone. I'm through it one on one just to keep it to beat. I swivel with the ball, I see him coming off his line a wee bit. I shift to the blast, he's off, I go for the chip. Go! Oh! You want me to show you the free kick as well? I go on. But he's so focused on his football, I don't think he understands how much wee Jackie needs him right now. You know how boys are when they're at that age. They worship their fathers. Janice. Yes? Do you mind if we, uh, talk about my last book? No. Welcome, Janice. Hello, Rab. I'm sorry I'm late. Did Jackie tell you? Tell me what? He didn't he tell you? What? When did you see Jackie? Oh, it's just, uh, going to be doing a wee bit of work for him. You are? Aye. Uh, administration, letters, calls, and all that kind of thing. You're going to be Jackie's secretary? Personal assistant. Can you type? No, but it doesn't seem to... Hi. Hi. So, we're all here. <clears throat> Firstly, I'd like to thank everyone for coming. Rab, I just wanted to say, I think you've chosen a really meaningful book. <laughs> you do? Well, yeah. Because this book is very important to me. Rab, it's a children's book. I have a terrible headache this evening. Could you not raise your voice like that first? Do you want an aspirin? No, I do not want an aspirin, Claire. Thank you. Well, seeing as we're looking at all types of books, we might as well look at kids' books, too. I agree with Kenny. Right, the flare is new open. Who'd like to start? Me. Rab, I love this book. 
It's about being able to do things because you believe you can do them. Mm, my wee boy loves this book too. It's his favourite bedtime story. He's got a Thomas Duvey cover. Uh, it's no Thomas, Janice. Thomas the Tank Engine? No, Janice, it's the little engine that could. Yes, well, we haven't got all the books in the series. It's no Thomas, it's a completely different set of fucking trains altogether. Well, I can't comment. It's a nice story for children. Yeah. So, I guess that's everyone? <laughs> Looks like this is going to be the shortest book group ever. Barney, did you think that little engine was going to make it over that mountain? Mm. Yeah, I did, Claire. After all, it is an American book. No, it's not, it's British. Rabbit's American. Listen, love, I read this book 25 years ago. My book is British. Rab. There are mountains in it, big enough to, you know, cause a problem for a steam engine. Plenty of mountains here, Claire. Copyright 1930, New York. Are we done? It's about getting to the other side. I met a writer this week. Who'd you meet, Janice? Martin Logan. Thriller writer. Oh, right, Dark Alley. He was uh, very nice. You could bring him to the book group. I thought maybe we could read one of his books for next time. Magic. I thought maybe we could read one of Claire's. No. Why not? It's too personal. I mean, you'd be talking to the author. I thought Martin spoke very well about his oeuvre. So let's all read Dark Alley. I try to order your books. They're only published in the United Over States. Over the internet. I don't write under my own name. What name do you write under? Danielle Steele? Oh, she's very good. I'm not telling. I'm not ready for you to read my work, Barney. That's fine, Claire. I know what it's like when you're embarrassed to show your pals your own stuff. So, we're there. Excellent. <clears throat> Martin and I are having an affair. Oak's Oh, no. All right, Janice. Where's Jackie? Uh, he's upstairs. What are you doing with the post? Well, this is day one of my new job that I was telling you about. But that's my post. It's fine. I'm just getting it sorted. I don't want you opening my post. Don't worry, Janice. I'm only opening the ones addressed to Jackie, all right? Did you open my post? No, you didn't get any today. Oh, I didn't say anything. Sorry? About your new friend. Father, I have had intimate relations with another man. Father, I have had sexual intercourse with a man who wasn't my husband. Janice, wh when did this happen? Oh, Father, it was such a shock. I went to this writer's talk at the bookshop and the writer, well, he's dead famous. What's his name? Martin Logan. The Martin Logan? Dark Alley? Wow. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he entered me, I was gripped with an inner fire that I have not felt before. Mm. I gave myself to him fully in body and spirit. Janice, you're, you're a married woman. Aye. What should I do, Father? Look, have you, have you told Jackie? No. Do you think Jackie's read Dark Alley? Jackie doesn't read books, Father. Mm, I just thought, uh, never mind. He's got a new secretary. Do you think Jackie could be having an affair? No, Father. It's a man. Oh. Uh. 